guys. What do you think? The reason that we picked this verse for our wedding verse is that I think when I first read it, um, I was struck by um, the way that it talks about the love of God. Um, nowadays, you know, we love is such a flippant word, right? I love you, I love you. I love you. <laughs> so this, yeah, so this verse, um, rather than talking about the disappointing love of men that, you know, sometimes happens and um, how we cannot really, I guess it's not all that trustworthy sometimes, it talks about the unfailing love of God and the, the love of God that was not only um, unfailing in theory, it was unfailing in his action. And um, like the verse says, was made manifest um, among us, among us human beings, that through that he sent his son into the world, um, it's through that sacrifice of Jesus Christ that we we're able to see God's love for humankind. And uh, more than that, um, that rather than just sending his son, it's, it's giving us that eternal life. And, like the verse is, so that we might live through him. It's giving us that life abundant that um, the Gospel of John talks about. So that's why I picked this verse because I think that um, the love of God is what is able to help us to love each other and also what will help us to live our future lives. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, and I think that uh, in John 3.16 as well, it talks about as God sent His only Son mm -hmm. and when whosoever believes in Him, they shall not perish but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. right? I don't think it's just something that is uh, talking about the afterlife. I mean, uh, Jesus has resurrected. That's why we can experience this love. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that, uh, our verse also talked that so that we might live through Him, mm -hmm. which is a God that is alive, a love that is alive. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is why it's so amazing and what's so striking. Yeah, so I think it really captures what uh, the gospel is uh, very well. And I think it's just, it's just amazing that uh, in our marriage we can live this life for Jesus. I think marriage uh, really portrays the gospel mm. such that uh, as Christ loves the church, mm. the husband should love the wife. And uh, as a church, uh, be obedient to Christ. Uh, that's where in the Bible the wife submits to the husband. Mm. That is how we hope that our marriage can be like in that um, as we seek to obey God and to show the gospel in our lives and through our marriage uh, that we are able to show the love of God, love of the love of God through sending his son for us and I hope that I am able to um, humbly and sacrificially submit and respect my husband so that we are able to um, fully portray the gospel of Christ. Hopes and dreams for the five kids. For, for, <laughs> yeah, five kids. I want a nice house. <laughs> no, I mean those are very like superficial things. But I mean they, they are they are hopes and dreams. I don't think they're, they're necessarily bad. I would like uh, have a family with you and have a nice <laughs> have a nice warm home. Of course, I'll be happy, right? Um, but I think. Uh, specifically, hopes and dreams for the future, I would like for um, us to be able to uh, serve as a couple in church. I think that's there are a lot of things that we'll be able to do um, together. Maybe in even if we are in different ministries, but together we can do a lot of things. Um, being able to celebrate life together, even through the ups and downs, I'm sure that like even though I'm quite a positive person, I'm sure that there will be some rough times ahead. But um, you know, like I still think that it's it's worth it. You know, sometimes when they say marriage is hard, but I think it's it's worth it. And and I hope that in our future that we would um, not only um, look to each other for our satisfaction, not only look to each other for um, our joy. I think that, like I said, man always fails you, and it's kind of disappointing sometimes. But uh, I'm sure that that um, in our relationship together, as we grow together, I hope that we're able to ultimately seek Christ and God for our satisfaction. I think that's something that we can both um, learn to grow together. Oh yeah, I hope we can grow together. It really sums it up, and I think that as we share these same uh, thoughts and wavelengths, that marriage is going to be blissful, but mm. at the same time hard and difficult in 
really sharing this life is exciting. I mean, we all don't know what we don't know and are going to this new phase of life. Mm -hmm. We are looking forward to uh, experience how we can depend on God mm -hmm. in uh, many new avenues. I, I don't know what they, they are going to be. And, children. Uh, children. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and, uh, but we, are, we are also thankful that uh, there are many people around us mm. to uh, guide us along, uh, especially our parents that mm. have been there, uh, mm. being an example. And uh, we, we also hope to continue living our life together with them. We're thankful yeah. for all of you. So thank you guys for watching. Tune in to our next episode. <laughs> Please like, comment and subscribe. Now we will have a message from our sponsors. If you are wondering where we are taking this awesome video, you can check out Lacebridge. Follow them on all their socials.